All right. What is up, everybody? Beautiful Monday here at Home Sales Palm Beach. All right. Listen, fun around the office, you know, doing the typical Monday tasks. And there was a few things I realized that I wanted to touch base on um, that is huge to help you guys out as agents. Okay. And that is the property landing pages within Chime. Okay. So we know this is a market where you want listings, right? Let me turn this off. You want listings, right? Well, there's a multitude of way to get listings nowadays. And we have our Tuesday team meeting. So don't forget that tomorrow at 1030 at the office and on Zoom. But I want to touch base with this real quick um, on how to create property landing pages. Now, I've said this a hundred times, maybe a million times, but they are great for listings. If you're going to a listing presentation, a great way to tell your seller or potential seller, hey, you guys, girls, this is how I'm going to market your property. This is what I can do differently from an agent perspective than the next agent can. And the difference is you're able to do this with an $80,000 property or an $8 million property, okay? So as opposed to going out and paying, you know, your web developer to do a certain thing, now you can do it on your own for free within Chime, okay? So I wanna show you real quick on how to do that. Guys, I see people posting their new listings, everything like that. Awesome, 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 awesome. Always post, every time you guys get a new listing, every time you go into contract, every time you, you know, you sell a property, whatever, be posting stuff, all right? Even if it's just visual, just to get that property out there or just to tell your sphere of social media that you're still in real estate, that you do real estate or that just to keep them updated, okay? So real quick, I'm gonna share my screen here and I'm gonna go through this real quick because this is huge for everybody, okay? All right, bingo. Okay, we're on Chime now. So what I wanna do is show you guys how to make a property landing page, okay? So here's the deal. I just got a listing, right? Beautiful listing, small listing, big listing, little listings. We don't care. We love all listings, right? So here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is come into my chime. I just hit submit on the MLS. Boom, my listing is now live on the MLS or it's coming soon. We can still do that. But regardless, got my listing. I'm going to log into chime. I'm going to come to my paper airplane. Remember, that's my campaign section. That's the fun section. This is where a lot of cool stuff is in chime. And hit campaigns. Okay. I can see all my stuff populate here. Smart plans, AI assistant, auto property alerts, everything's right here, right? I can buy buyer lead gen. I can do seller lead gen, direct mail. I'm going to have our very own Carla Moore do an amazing, uh, we'll, we'll do some training on that down the road because she's the one that's been really crushing it, using it, getting some deals off it. So we'll go over that. But I wanted to show you the landing pages. So here I am, there's landing pages. I'm gonna click that. Now guys, this is social media filler too. Remember, when I add a new landing page, you can see landing pages in here, right? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add a new landing page. Now look, this isn't just single property, this is everything, right? So I can do lead capture. So see, these are my two lead captures. These are home evaluations. I can change pictures, I can edit everything, okay? So don't worry, you're gonna not get this, this picture or that picture, you guys can do whatever you want to it. Single property, multi-property, listing live tours, and blanks, all right? But today's focus is on single property. I just listed this beautiful home. Here we go. Boom, there's our single property landing pages. Now I have two versions of that too, right? So my two versions are this one on the left, this one on the right, gives you a little bit different layout, no big deal. I personally like the one on the left, looks a little more modern to me. So what I'm gonna do is, that's checked there, you can see it, next. Boom, here's our page name. Here's our, basically we're gonna build our landing page right here. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna find a property we have. I'm gonna do 8318 Rearing Wayne. Boom, there's the name. Now lead source. What lead source means is, guys, remember this is meant to go on your social media. If you make a landing page, you don't do anything with it. What good is it, right? You're able to blast out to leads, but you're also mainly going to put it on your social media. So, with that being said, I can change the registration form. If I want somebody to register and actually sign up as a lead on my landing page, I can do that. Or I can remove the registration. Maybe I just want to throw it on social media, get some social media filler, get something out there for the day. I don't want people going, oh, Greg's that bombarding realtor that's going to call me and make me register for a property landing page. I can remove that as well. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But this is the lead source right here. See lead source. So what I'm going to do
personally, I just like to do that. That way, if somebody does register on my landing page, I know exactly where they came from. I can source them out a different way. Here's the URL. Again, great for when you're at a listing appointment. Hey, seller XYZ, I'm gonna make your property its own website, dedicated website. I can do sold as well, or I can add pocket listings. So there you go again. You're going to a potential listing appointment. That's your way. You put it in the pocket list and create that landing page prior to going to your listing appointment. That's one way to separate yourself from another agent. I'm going to input the property address. Remember, everything's chime tied up to your MLS. There it is. I'm going to click save. You let it kind of build itself for a few minutes. You see it populate. There we go. Now I'm in editable form. See how when I put my clicker over this, it turns blue. I can click all this stuff. I can edit whatever I want to. But remember, this comes up directly from the MLS. I personally don't touch these property landing pages. I like the way they come out. So what I'm going to do here is I can scroll down. I can see all my info there, a little slideshow. There's my property info, virtual tour. Now, if you don't have a virtual tour, remember the MLS makes you a virtual tour, basically a slideshow from the MLS photo. So that will populate. Um, here's your gallery again, all from the MLS property details, pretty intricate school zones. So really cool. Give you the scores of every school in the area. Now, if there are other listings in that area that are currently active, this block right here will, will contain those. Okay. Now there's no listings in this neighborhood currently. So that's why that block is not showing up. Now, if I'm to publish this, this block will not show up the way it is. These, this contact block and then this school block will merge. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that being there. Now, if I did a property that had other listings in the area, they'll populate right here. Another big question I get from agents is, if a client clicks or somebody clicks on those other properties that are, they're called similar homes. No, they don't go out to somebody else. They're on your page. They're gonna go right to you. Inquirers will come to you, not the listing agent. So here's your contact block. All right. Now, remember, when you're on your Chime profile, that content block is going to populate with your info, not mine as Greg the broker. OK. And there's your get in touch page. All right. So there's everything right there. I really like it. I don't have to mess around with it too much. I can click this little glow. I can excuse me. I can click this little phone. It'll show me what it looks like mobile. So really cool. Neat feature. I can go back to desktop. I can come over here. I can see what it's going to look like in real time. So it's not going to have, you know, any of the editable blocks. So you can see your picture is just a little bit more clear. Everything looks good. See how your contact block is up. And then boom, there's my registration block. Okay. Well, I don't want my registration block, right? So I'm going to X out of the viewing page. I'm going to come over here to settings. And then if I scroll down under settings of basic info right here, registration, how to trigger. So I don't want this to register, right? I don't want a, I don't want a registration page on this. I just want to put this out there for some social media so people can check it out and enjoy it, right? So I'm gonna click never require registration. On a landing page, if I click require registration based on page views, probably not gonna get any registrations because it's a landing page. It's a one page thing. There's nothing to click off of. Um, or you registration clicked, or excuse me, registration, based on browsing time, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute on the site, and that person's gonna come in, okay? And you can SEO it, you can do all this different stuff to it, really cool. Um, there's your cover photo, so when you do post it on social media, that'll populate. All right, so I turn registration off, I like it, I'm ready to go, I wanna post this, right? And, and I want this to go to social media. Well, remember, my social media, when I created my Chime account, me personally as a Greg, I went through the whole process and I added in my Facebook account, right? So my Facebook is linked to this. Now, if your Facebook is not linked to this, you're not gonna be able to auto post it or excuse me, directly post it to your Facebook. So go ahead right now, jump on your editing section of Chime, that's gonna be your settings and add you know, your link for Facebook, your business page or your personal page. Because then once you do that, I can come in here I can go right to Facebook. There it is, right? So my Facebook's hooked up. Here's a really cool thing about it. I can type in,
I can even put it to my story. Boom. There we go. Look at that. Now you can post it. There it is. So now you can not only post this, share it, let, you know, like I said, content, it's content, content, content. You guys can go out. You guys can do whatever you want. You can set this up to, to you know, you can do office properties. It doesn't have to be just your listing. You can do office properties. But every time you guys get a listing, this would be the first, 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 first thing you should do. Create this. If I wasn't doing a video, I could have created this and posted this within three minutes, okay? So under five minutes, you can have a sweet, sweet, absolutely sweet property landing page that looks way better than, you know, sharing it to the MLS or having to go through Canva, for instance, do a new listing post. Um, this is way better, way better, all right? So you guys call me if you have any questions. You know that. Um, this is, you know, this is what we're here for. So I want you guys to be comfortable with it, but that's just a short little video on how to use this stuff, how to do basically your, your property landing pages. But you can see through that video that there's a lot more you can do just through that campaign section. All right. So you guys need to be utilizing this. Uh, a well-trained agent in a CRM is deadly. Okay. Especially in today's market, you guys got to go out. You guys got to separate yourself from the next agents that you're going to be at that listening agreement with. And that's one way to do it right there. All right. So listen, I thank you guys for watching this, taking your time. Appreciate it. Any questions, you know, just give us a shout. We're always here for you. Take care.